Carrollton in shock tonight after a young woman was killed by a stray bullet while sitting in a parked car. Adding to the shock is the person who now stands accused in her death, 47-year-old Richard Sigman, who was a lecturer at the University of West Georgia. And today, 11 Alive's Karis Belger was back in Carrollton. She has more on the victim and on the suspect. This square is popping almost every single night, especially on the weekends. We have a lot of restaurants that say open to 12 and 1 o'clock. Regina Todd couldn't believe a shooting happened near the restaurant where she works. Just unheard of. It's really just unheard of. She's a vegan chef at the restaurant Heaven in Your Home. It's two shops down from Leopoldo's Pizza Napolitana, where Carrollton police say 47-year-old Richard Sigman got into an argument, starting a series of events that ended with the death of 18-year-old Anna Jones. Oh my God, it was it was a shocker because you don't hardly hear stuff happen like that around here. And on top of that, I know the guy that did it. Latoya Grimes owns the restaurant and tells me she had been in contact with Sigmund over the last few days. According to police, Sigmund was asked to leave Leopoldo's by security. He made his way to the parking deck where he pulled out a gun and started shooting. But Grimes knew a different side of Sigmund. He was just a real nice guy trying to help me. I have a nonprofit with the homeless here. So he was just trying to reach out and help me in that. So I, it was just hard to believe that it was him that did it. Police tell 11 Alive he fired in the direction of the car Anna Jones was sitting in, hitting her. Friends took her to the hospital where she later died from her injuries. She had just graduated from Mount Zion High School and was starting college in the fall. This GoFundMe was started to help her family with funeral expenses. People in this community, including LaToya, say they still can't believe what happened. My heart goes out for her mom and her family because I'm a mom myself, and I just can't imagine how they're feeling. In Carroll County, Karis Belger, 11 Alive News.